walk away from a major environmental conference that could make a difference for the health and well-being of our planet, to me, was irresponsible. So as elected president, I will hold a summit, a Kyoto-like summit. I'll invite the world to come here to get back on track again so that jointly we do what we can to reduce the dependency on foreign oil in our country, to make us more independent, to reduce the threats of global warming and the greenhouse effects, improve our health, and increase manufacturing jobs. And what better news for Iowa than that? A state that's already making a contribution on alternative fuels and alternative technologies for energy. Now let me tell you how it works. Everybody's for the goals I just mentioned. You as voters in this state ought to demand that anybody who says they're for those goals to tell you specifically how you're going to get there. Because not many do. They'll tell you we all agree on the goals, but ask them how you're going to get there. And I'll tell you how I get there. And you can go to chrisdodd.com and get the whole Megillah if you want. It's a long plan. But let me tell you the two most important points that I'll share with you right now. One is a 50 mile per gallon standard for automobiles produced and manufactured in the United States. One, back in 1983, my wife bought a CRX before I met her. It got 43 miles to the gallon 23 years ago. Don't tell me we can't produce an automobile that gets 50 miles to the gallon. That could be done under my administration. I'll insist upon it. And by the way, I'll save the automobile industry in the process of doing so. That will save a tremendous amount of the fossil fuels. Secondly, the great barrier to getting rid of CO2 producing fuels is price. As long as the oil companies can reduce that price down to 20 or 30 dollars a barrel, they can make their product far more competitive than the alternatives at this, at this stage in their development. So you've got to do something about the price if you're going to deal with the carbon producing fuels. I've thought of a lot of different ways of doing it. The only way it works is by taxing the corporate polluters, by making it expensive to pollute. If you do that, you make these alternatives competitive price-wise. Now that costs fifty billion dollars. That's not inexpensive. But I take the money and I fast track the technologies such as you're developing in Iowa, provide tax relief to consumers who want to buy the more efficient and a little more costly technologies or appliances, and thirdly provide some assistance to those companies making the transition. But let me tell you something else you ought to consider when I tell you this. We today spend three hundred billion dollars every year to buy fossil fuels offshore. Almost a hundred billion of it to countries who frankly are hostile to our interests who are our enemies. A hundred billion a year. Now you tell me what you'd rather do. Spend fifty fifty billion dollars, in a sense, to get rid of the polluters here and become more independent, or spending a hundred billion dollars every year going to our enemies. I'd rather become independent of them. We ought to do it, we can do it, and it's about time we started doing it. And that's what I'll do if I'm President of the United States. That's how you get rid of the, uh, the polluting technologies, produce the jobs here at home. And that's what we've got to do. What better gift could we give our children than to give them a technology free of the Middle East? Our tankers pass through the Straits of Hormuz. That's 34 miles wide. You know, we put our entire risk, our entire country and its well-being based on not blocking off that choke point. If someone does it tomorrow, we're in deep trouble in this country. And where is the leadership in our country that knows we have the technology, the abilities to be independent of that part of the world for our energy? Not to mention the greenhouse effects and all the other problems we know are associated with burning fossil fuels. Why not get to using the biodiesels, the methanol, and all the other uh, the cellulosic materials, not just corn, that you can produce that from. We're producing automobiles for the Brazilian market. Three quarters of the automobiles in Brazil are operating on methanol, ethanol rather, that's derived from sugar cane. So we're producing a car for that market. Why can't we produce one for our own market here at home? Where's the leadership on this? I offer that leadership. Another question for this. <laughs>